Okay. We got a little peek during commercial break. And they are adorable. They're so cute. They're so the Cleveland Metro Park Zoo, they're continuing their wonderful youth movement and they have more adorable additions. Mm, these are really cuties. Now the last couple of years, we've seen the baby rhino, the gorilla, the bison, and just to name a few that are out there. And now, take a look. Uh oh, are you ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, well, in the lineup, we have Jen DeGroote here talking about the baby goats. And they, they are, they are hungry morning. baby goats, Jen. <laughs> They're so cute. They are. I've got, I've got their favorite treat in my hand. So, so what is that, um, Yeah, Jen? these are our four new baby goats. These are, this is what we just call petting zoo grain. It's a really locale <laughs> treat that these guys love. Obviously, they'll jump all over me for it. So, uh, so you have a couple so of different my lap kinds, here, right? We do, yep. These two that you see right in front of me here, these are a new breed for us. These are called Pigora goats. They're a mix between pygmy goats, which are the little guys, Aww. and angora mm. goats. They're a fiber goat. So if you look at their fur, it's really soft and really curly. It almost feels like cashmere. So we think they're going to be a huge hit here in the petting zoo area where people can feel just how soft they are. They're actually um, sheared once or twice a year, and their fiber can be used for knitting, crocheting, you name it. So it's a new, a new breed for us here, and we're really excited for you guys to check them out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we also have two more pygmy goats, these little guys here. So this is Melvin oh. and Monty is this little black and white one here. Melvin and they're oh, Monty. Really young. They're, all, they're are, about four. Are they they're about four months old? So are they're they still pretty small. Or no? And they are. They're siblings Aww. from the same litter. Yep. Aww. Oh, very nice. Same with Gus, Gus and Lou. Gus and Lou is short for Luciano. So mm. this one's Gus. This one's Lou. And they're the same age, so you can just see the size difference here. They're about four months old, and the pigoras are much bigger of a breed than the little pygmy goats here. Now, I mean, you see, now they're small. They look very calm. Now, that there's a lot of times I imagine they get quite frisky, jumping up and down. I mean, other than for food, but they're probably a good thing for kids to come in and pet, and they learn a lot about them too, don't they? Absolutely, yeah. The goats are a lot of fun. We have a lot of climbing <laughs> structures for them. You can see all the logs in the habitat here. We've got some things for them to jump up on. They're really good at that. Especially when they're young, they can be really frisky. You might see them headbutt each other and play. Mm -hmm. They definitely like people, so you can tell that they're going to come up to the guests already, even though they just joined us here a couple days ago in the contact barn. They're already loving the attention. So you keep mentioning the contact farm, and this is what we love because we know at the zoo, you're not able to get up close and personal with all of the animals. Especially not the runners. Right, for the safety, right, of them. But <laughs> these are some that you can. Kids can get to feed them. They can touch them. And then you have some other animals, too, yep. in the contact farm. That's right. We have everything from, uh, we have four different breeds of goats. We have alpacas, which you might see behind me. We have mini donkeys, mini horses, and sheep. Um, so there's a lot of animals that both kids and adults can come in and learn to uh, pet and hang out with and get a oh. lot of good education about these animals as well. How can, yeah, we keep saying kids, but all of us as adults, look at that. Look at that. Oh, Rosie's coming in for a little kiss. Oh, like, yeah. oh there we go. Oh, oh there's, there's two, two of them. God, they love the so camera. Cute. But, like, but, the, but looking at them, they're so they personable. Sure they're yeah. so personable. That's the thing. That, would, that makes a, a good adventure yeah. for a lot of kids, doesn't it? Yeah, and those alpacas with those big eyelashes and big, big eyes, you know, <laughs> they're just so looking. cute. Everybody loves them. Oh, they're so cute. All right, well, Rosie's cousin has always, your cousin, right? No, that was my niece. My niece, niece. My niece has always loved goats. That was always been her thing. She just, like, she just loved goats, no And she always what. wanted one, so. So I think these would be a perfect house both. goat. I love them, too. <laughs> they're so cute. Well, she'll have to come and check out these new guys. Sounds good. Jen, thank you so much. Appreciate it. And you'll be able to see them now because they just arrived at the zoo. And uh, sounds great. Thank you so much. Appreciate the time. A lot of fun. They're so cute. <laughs> thank you, guys. Come on down to the contact, Brian. We'd love to see you. You got right. it. Thank Thanks, you, Jen. Jen.